we get set with 30 more laps of racing here at Infineon Raceway, Sonoma, California. Green flag waves, and here we go. That's Donoso grabbing the lead in that yellow and white car. Antonucci and Mato side by side as they go through one. We're right, we're on board with Rafa, and we are looking right up at Richard. They're, they're clean, but fighting their way through. J.R. Hildebrand, there's Antonucci, Matos. On board with Rafa, they go down through corner. Oh, and a car upside down. Unable to get a reading on exactly who it is, but quite a tumble for Mitch Cunningham in the 33 car. Yeah, and that looks as though that's just coming off of turn two, kind of that rise. It's a right-hand turn, and he obviously spun off in the dirt there and then, you know, got enough material or dirt stuck behind the wheel that tripped that car. So here's the safety team. There he is crawling out. That's oh, yeah. great to see. That is really good to see. Mitch climbs out. Doesn't appear to be any worse for the wear after a scary ride. Wow. Yeah, and, and lots of times when you just slide through the dirt, that's not a big deal. But something has to trip a car to get it to there. That's what I say. It was sliding and probably impacted a lot of dirt and eventually tripped it. So here, let's take a look. Oh, that's... Something happened prior to getting out on the dirt. So he was upside down on the pavement. On the and, racetrack, yeah. And I would ha what, what has to happen there is when, with open wheel racing, IndyCar style racing, you lock those wheels and one car is launched off another car's wheel. And that's, that's got to be what happened. What well, is only Mitch's eighth race of the year. Yesterday here at Infineon, he started eighth and finished in 11th position. And his day ends upside down. But it's good to see that he was able to crawl come out of the car while it was still overturned and apparently is okay.